Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately. This video is mainly basically for uh, two kinds of students that is, for uh, passing student and also for cent percent student. So, or also I can uh, consider distinction student. Those who are uh, concerning about uh, passing uh, e capsule here, you can have the advantage here. I will be discussing how to pass this examination that is uh, with the subject title called uh, mathematics for CES engineering stream with the subject title BCS 301 which is mainly for 2022 scheme that is for only CSC streams. So moving on to module 1. So here uh, these are the uh, model question paper. We have a model question paper. I am discussing on a model question paper. If you consider module 1. Yeah, my dear students in module 1 we are going to have a topics on discrete random variable and a discrete random variable we are going to study binomial poseidon and our continuous uh, random variable we are going to study uh, normal distribution and uh, exponential distribution so problem will be given as follows like this so one problem can be uh, question number one a will be always stick on to uh, they will be stick on to discrete or continuous there will be a choice between discrete or continuous question number uh, 2b or 1b will be on binomial or either on binomial or poseidon uh, when i compare uh, when i take uh, question number 2c and 1c it will be of uh, normal or exponential usually the problem will be of uh, this kind so definitely this problem will be of 1a or 2a so when i come to this the this problem will be 1b and this problem will be 1c or 2c like that 1c or 2c it will be so this is the combination they are going to have so this will be 1a or 1b like that so either the option will be considered as anything here 1c or 2c so this will be the option you are going to have the problems like this so the compulsory problem will be having like this you can go say go and see here so the problem 1a will be on uh, discrete uh, random variable so the question number 1b is on poseidon distribution the question number 1c is on exponential distribution the question number 2a is on continuous random variable the question number uh, 2b is on binomial distribution question number 2c is on exponential distribution so this is how a uh, normal distribution they are given normal distribution 2c so this is how we have the problem this is how the question paper will be setting so you can expect the problem like this you can have the choice in any manner if you study discrete random variable no need of studying the continuous and stick on to rest of the problems whatever we have you can study either binomial or poseidon similarly you can study either normal or exponential so for passing student uh, definitely you can study uh, uh, discrete uh, random uh, variable problem on discrete random variable normal uh, distribution and binomial distribution definitely minimum marks you can score from this uh, uh, module minimum you can score minimum 12 marks you can score minimum 12 marks so that is the minimum weightage i can giving so others uh, the for uh, distinction students or whatever uh, the cent percent hundred the uh, the students who are expecting hundred uh, marks they can study like this they can expect uh, 20 out of 20 in this module definitely you can score easily in this module so when i come to module 2 module 2 is of uh, joint probability and marco chain the or uh, stochastic process so the question uh, paper pattern will be of the form uh, 3a the question number 3a will be always on joint probability distribution 4a is also a joint probability distribution so when i go to uh, question number 4b and uh, 3b uh, or uh, question number 4c and 3c so it will be of Marco chain problems. So stochastic process one is on uh, regular here they have been asked the unique fixed probability vector. You can find unique fixed probability vector and uh, this question is on Marco chain problem. We can solve this problem easily. I will give the solution shortly. So see here in question number 4a joint probability distribution. Question number 4b is on definitions of a stochastic process regular stochastic process. Uh, stationary distribution absorbing state of Markov chain is this a question number 4c is on Markov chain 
so definitely it is very easy to score uh, 20 out of 20 for both uh, <coughs> those who are expecting passing marks and also for 100 out of 100 when i come to module 3 module 3 and module 4 is of uh, same kind of uh, unit uh, it is called as statistical inference 1 and statistic statistical inference 2 so when i come to question number uh, 5a and 6a it will be of uh, definitely one question will be on definition you can expect uh, the definitions from module 3 you can expect a single question from definitions so be prepared be thorough with the definitions of all kinds of definitions in module 3 <laughs> and uh, the next question will be on uh, testing of hypothesis using a large uh, samples uh, another problem will be of uh, given a two samples uh, you need to find uh, uh, the uh, testing of hypothesis for the for the given two sample size or uh, proportions of two so large samples or proportions of two means so on large samples these kinds of problems will be given so you can solve easily you can expect a minimum marks at least if you write down the definition you can score six marks those who are willing to score 100 out of 100 they can expect uh, 20 out of 20 from this uh, module it is very easy to score so since if you know uh, as they are going to provide a handbook for you you can easily score from this uh, module when i go to module 4 module 4 is of as i told you it is a continuation part of uh, module 3 you are going to have one problem on central limit theorem using central limit theorem definitely one problem will be given so you can solve easily and uh, another problem will be given on confidence intervals definitely one problem will be given on confidence intervals and uh, finally one more problem in uh, one, one, uh, one more problems on t distribution or chi square distribution you can take a choice on chi square distribution or t distribution here the problem is on chi uh, one one problem is on you see here this is on uh, t distribution and this problem is on chi square distribution we can solve uh, by using uh, any of this kind so definitely one problem will be uh, stick on to you stick on to those who want to get uh, just pass stick on to one method either t distribution or chi square distribution along with that central limit theorem using central limit theorem and also finding uh, uh, the confidence intervals definitely one problem will be there you can definitely score easily 20 out of 20 marks from this module and also don't forget to study here one more uh, question that is uh, problems on f distribution definitely one problem will be on uh, f distribution will be there that is just uh, finding uh, the ratios of sums of squares s1 square divided by s2 squares s2 square so this problem will be there on uh, question number 8c or 7c you can expect a problem on f distribution moving on to question number 9a it is of a uh, new module that is ANOVA testing of uh, uh, a one-way classification two-way classification latin square method so definitely one problem will be one problem will be on one way and one problem will be on latin square and uh, similarly if you go with choice one problem will be on two-way ANOVA and uh, this is also two-way ANOVA this is uh, mainly on two-way ANOVA this is on one-way ANOVA since uh, this problem is on one-way ANOVA one-way ANOVA so since they are asking to find uh, state it the variety differences are significant at 5% significant level. So this is of uh, two way ANOVA. So you can leave either Latin square or two way ANOVA. So if you leave either one of the topic in this module, nothing to worry. You can answer any uh, full question and you can score 20 out of 20 from this module. 20 out of 20 from this module just now if you calculate how much marks you can score uh, to get pass so from the first module minimum 20, uh, 12 marks you can score from the second module minimum minimum you can score uh, from second module you can score minimum 15 marks or 20 out of 20 also uh, from third module also I, as I told if you go with only uh, definition and also uh, there will be an uh, large sample problems so i will go with just uh, six marks and if you go with the uh, module uh, four you can score minimum marks of uh, 12 or 20 uh, if you go with the last module you can score 20 out of 20 from last module if you add all these values 
so here 15 you can score 15 1 carry here uh, 2 4 65 marks you can score minimum of 65 marks in this in this subject minimum you are expecting you are just expecting 35 marks you can score 65 marks I, if you go through whatever the way I said if you get prepared in the manner whatever I said you can definitely score minimum of 65 marks in this uh, question paper or in the final examination question paper so I wish you all the very best my dear students if you have any uh, doubts regarding this uh, content you can uh, put a comment I will clear your all doubts thank you all for watching this video and kindly do subscribe to my youtube channel and do share this video with your friends thank you all